Jungle Safari, How the Food Chain Works Introduction Welcome to the thrilling world of the Jungle Safari. If you have ever been on a wildlife adventure, you know that there is nothing quite like witnessing animals in their natural habitat. But have you ever wondered how these creatures survive and thrive in such a harsh environment? The answer lies in the food chain and intricate web of predator and prey relationships that governs life in the wild. In this blog post, we'll dive deep into the fascinating workings of the food chain and explore some great facts about lions, hyenas, elephants, and other amazing animals. Get ready to learn something new and exciting. What is the food chain? The food chain refers to the hierarchical system in which organisms obtain their food and energy by consuming other organisms. Simply put, it is a series of events where one organism eats another and then becomes prey for another. At the base of the food chain are producers such as plants and algae that produce their own food through photosynthesis. Herbivores such as zebras, giraffes, and gazelles consume these plants to get energy. In turn, they become prey for carnivores like lions, hyenas, cheetahs who feed on them for survival. The top predator in any ecosystem plays a vital role in regulating population sizes within the community. Without predators like lions or wolves controlling populations of herbivores like deer or elk through predation, overgrazing can occur leading to habitat destruction. Understanding how the different levels of the food chain interact with each other is essential for maintaining healthy ecosystems. Any disruption in this balance will have adverse effects on all species involved. The food chain gives us insight into how every living organism has an important role to play in maintaining life on Earth. The Different Levels of the Food Chain The food chain is a vital ecological concept that explains the transfer of energy from one organism to another. At its core, the food chain has different levels, producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and decomposers. Producers are plants that make their own food through photosynthesis. They form the first level of the food chain because they are responsible for producing organic matter, which will be consumed by other organisms. Primary consumers feed on producers like grass or leaves. These include animals such as deer or rabbits who eat vegetation as part of their diet. Secondary consumers then consume primary consumers for energy and nourishment. Examples of these carnivores include lions or hyenas who hunt herbivores like gazelles or zebras for sustenance. Tertiary consumers occupy the highest level in a typical food chain and are often referred to as apex predators because they have no natural predators themselves. Examples include sharks and eagles. Decomposers play an essential role in breaking down dead organic material into nutrients used by plants to grow anew at each level of the food chain. Understanding these different levels within the food chain allows us to appreciate how species interact with each other in nature's delicate balance. How does the food chain work? The food chain is a natural process that occurs in every ecosystem. It describes how each organism obtains its energy and nutrients from other organisms. The food chain represents a hierarchy of feeding relationships, where each level depends on the one below it for survival. At the base of the food chain are producers such as plants and algae, which use sunlight to make their own food through photosynthesis. Herbivores like zebras and gazelles feed on these producers, while carnivores like lions and hyenas prey upon these herbivores. However, some animals are omnivorous, which means they consume both plants and animals, including elephants who eat anything from leaves to bark or even small insects such as ants. Each level of the food chain relies heavily on the next one for survival, if one link becomes weak or disappears it may have devastating effects across an entire ecosystem. Predators play an important role in maintaining balance within their ecosystems by regulating population sizes of prey species. Understanding how the food chain works can provide us with insight into how different species interact with each other in their environment, making it essential knowledge for conservation efforts around the world. The Benefits of the Food Chain The food chain plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of nature. It serves as a natural system wherein living organisms depend on each other for survival. 
The benefits of the food chain are numerous and diverse, ranging from ensuring the continuity of animal species to providing humans with sustenance. One of the primary advantages of the food chain is that it helps control populations. Predators keep herbivore populations in check by feeding on them, which prevents overgrazing and ensures that resources are available for other animals. This maintains biodiversity and promotes ecosystem health. The food chain also contributes to nutrient cycling. Dead animals provide nutrients for scavengers like hyenas, vultures, and maggots, who then break down matter into simpler compounds that can be utilized by plants or microbes. Without this process, nutrients would remain trapped within decaying bodies instead of being recycled back into the environment. Furthermore, humans benefit from the food chain through agriculture and fishing industries. We rely on plant-eating animals such as cows or elephants for meat production while also relying on fish stocks harvested from oceans or rivers. Understanding how a healthy food chain works is essential for preserving wildlife habitats globally while also supporting human life activities such as farming and fishing industries. With proper management practices based on scientific research data sets, we can ensure sustainable development where both humans' needs are met alongside nature's vitality maintained too. The Dangers of the Food Chain The food chain is an essential part of the natural world, but it also comes with inherent dangers. At every level of the chain, animals must be wary of predators and other threats to their survival. For example, Prey animals must constantly be on alert for predators that may attack them at any moment. But even top-level predators like lions and hyenas face danger in the food chain. These animals often compete fiercely with one another for access to food sources, which can sometimes lead to violent confrontations. Humans also play a role in disrupting the delicate balance of the food chain through activities such as habitat destruction and overhunting. When humans interfere in this way, it can have ripple effects throughout the entire ecosystem. Additionally, climate change is creating new challenges for many species within the food chain. As temperatures rise and weather patterns shift, some animals are struggling to adapt to these changes quickly enough to survive. Despite these dangers, however, the food chain remains a vital part of our planet's ecology. By understanding how it works and taking steps to protect vulnerable species from harm, we can help ensure that this crucial system continues functioning for generations to come. Conclusion Understanding the food chain is crucial in comprehending how animals coexist and thrive in their ecosystems. It's fascinating to see how different levels interact with each other, from primary producers, herbivores, carnivores, and top predators. A jungle safari can be an excellent way to witness firsthand how the food chain works. Whether you're observing lions hunting antelopes or hyenas scavenging on leftovers from a lion kill, it's always an awe-inspiring experience. However, we must also appreciate that there are both benefits and dangers associated with the food chain. While it maintains balance in nature by controlling populations of certain species and preventing overgrazing or overcrowding, it also exposes some animals to natural hazards such as predation. Understanding the food chain is a crucial aspect of environmental education. It helps us appreciate biodiversity while highlighting ways we can take care of our planet so that all living organisms can coexist peacefully without endangerment.